What is up guys, it's Jose here and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video I wanna share my number one secret, the number one way and uh, tool I use to bring my digestion back to a balanced digestion, back to normal, okay? Now I've, I, I've dealt with digestive issues for probably like four, five years maybe and um, you know, after it, it happened after years and years of stress, of emotional stress, of all kinds of emotional triggers and anxiety. At some point, my digestion, my gut, my um, my immune system gave up, and that's when I got all kinds of bacterial overgrowth and 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 you know of, uh, fungal overgrowth, parasites, and so on. And it only contributed to giving me more anxiety and more depression and more uh, stress. Um, my nervous system was was completely out of whack and and it took years of trying all sorts of diets that they don't work um, or some things that maybe gave me a uh, you know a temporary uh, improvement but it would never be permanent right I think so many of us have experienced that it, that we try things uh, external things like diets like like you know just external things and there might be some temporary relief, but it's never the real deal. Right? It, it, doesn't, it doesn't heal the source. It doesn't bring that source, that root, back into balance. And so, you know, there's many things. Obviously, diet plays a role in all this. I mean, if you're going to be eating pizza and hamburgers and all sorts of, you know, processed crap into your body, then obviously um, it's not going to contribute to a healthy and balanced uh, gut and, and body so obviously it starts with you know eating a, a balanced diet but with all this stuff of going keto eating keto or being vegan or raw vegan or um, carnivore that's all bullshit like I've tried many things and, and nothing really worked I mean maybe it's worked for you but it doesn't heal the root cause of what is happening and what is truly happening is you have a unhealthy relationship with yourself there's some perception you have about yourself about the world that is you know causing an imbalance in your mind and therefore in your physical body as well because everything is connected right and if you're living in stress emotional stress if you're living in in fear if you are feeling like a victim on a daily basis and it's going to affect your health. It is going to affect your health. So the number one thing you need to do to bring this back into balance, obviously, you know, try to eat a healthy diet. And with healthy, I mean a balanced diet, vegetables, um, just eat what Mother Earth gives us, right? But what I found is that the most important thing and the most effective tool that I used to be able to break down my food, to be able to absorb the nutrients that I was eating, was the following. I started to feel gratitude before I ate. Now this might sound very, very simple. This might sound even stupidly simple. But hear me out. When you feel gratitude, why do people normally feel gratitude? When you feel gratitude, what just happened usually just before you start feeling gratitude? You probably received something. Maybe you received a smile from somebody. Maybe you received money. Maybe you received something. But every time you receive something that you want or that, you know, you, you, you really, really want it, then usually you feel gratitude. You say thank you. And you probably feel it in your body. You say thank you. You feel the gratitude. So gratitude is literally the emotional um, result of receiving something. Now, what is absorbing nutrients? You are receiving, right? So when you eat and you do not absorb the nutrients, you are not receiving. But when you eat, what you want is really receive the nutrients because you can eat all you want. But if you're not receiving, absorbing and receiving the nutrients, it doesn't, you know, it's, it, it, it won't do anything for you, right? 
So what we're doing is before eating, what I do and what I have taught many of my clients actually is to take 10 breaths. You take 10 breaths and you say, I am breathing in. No, sorry. You say, thank you for this food. And on the exhale, so that's when you say, that's, that's what you say when you inhale. And when you exhale, you say, I am open to receive. You breathe in and you say, thank you, earth, for this wonderful food. You exhale, I am open to receive. You inhale and you maybe say, thank you, sun, because it is due to the sun that the plants or whatever comes out of the earth can grow. So you say, inhale, thank you, sun. You exhale, I am open to receive. Thank you, life, for this food. I am open to receive. And you do this for 10 breaths, okay? 10 breaths. Now, by the end of the 10 breaths, chances are you feel the gratitude in your body. Okay, because this is the key. Now, if you can't feel it, cannot feel it in the beginning because you're not used to doing this because you haven't really trained yourself to, to be able to feel gratitude whenever you decide to, then, you know, just give it a few days. Give it a few days. But every single time before you eat, you take 10 breaths, you say thank you, you feel gratitude, okay, because this is, this is the real thing. That's, 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 the, the, that's the trick to feel it in your body. And what happens is that your body, your cells, your stomach, your gut, everything literally opens up. It opens up because it's in a state, it's, it's vibrating in a state of gratitude. And vibrating in a state of gratitude literally means that you are receiving. You are in a state of receivership. You are open to receive. So your cells literally open up and your body is in a state where it's able to receive and absorb what you're giving it. And what you'll find is that over time, your health will improve. If you combine this with a balanced diet, right? When I say balanced, I don't mean this rigid form of, I can't eat this, I can, I can only eat this, and I can only eat meat, or can only eat fats, I can only, you know, I, I can't eat meat. Just forget about it. Just Eat what Mother, what Mother Earth, what the planet gives you. Eat what the sun gives, eat plants, eat fruits, eat things that have living energy, that vibrate, that have different colors. Eat a, don't be rigid, don't be rigid about it. If you eat something processed every now and then, just, just be okay with that. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty, don't stress out because of it. Don't be rigid, just, just love yourself either way. You know, if you loved yourself, what would you eat? Ask yourself that question. If I loved myself fully, how would I, how would I eat? What would I eat? And just eat that and feel gratitude before you eat. Feel gratitude, do the same when you finish your meal. Say, thank you for this meal. Thank you for this food. I am open to receive. Do it for 10 breaths. Now, one more thing. Do not do anything else. Do not get distracted while you're doing the 10 breaths. So don't do three breaths and then you do something else and you do seven more. It's 10 consecutive breaths and you do not get distracted. If you get distracted, you start over again. But it has to be 10 breaths in a row. Okay? Having a hard time saying breaths. It's a weird sound. Anyways, give it a try. Give it a try. Do it at least for a week or two and you will start seeing results. I saw, I noticed it when I started doing this, I saw results the, the, the first day, the first day. But in a few weeks time, you'll notice that your health will start to get better. Do this, let me know how it goes. I'll see you in the next one.